Hello my friends. I'm going to share with you today how I built a large wicking barrel for planting of small trees. I'm taking a 55 gallon barrel marking out uh, cut lines at 17 inches. This is right in the middle of the barrel. I'm then scribing a line around the perimeter of the barrel. A pilot hole is then drilled into the barrel on this line. This is to allow me to put the blade of a saber saw into the hole. I find that this is the easiest way to cut the barrel. The blade that I'm using leaves a very smooth cut. When I'm finished, it's almost like a polish. The two bung holes on the top I screwed down very tightly so that they will not leak when it's filled with water. This is where I'm putting the wicking bed for a couple fig trees that I have in the greenhouse. I'm putting it where the tallest area is and I'm putting it right next to my door where you come, come in. Or what I'm doing is putting the container in its location because once it's filled it's going to be too heavy to move. So this area in the greenhouse will hold nine wicking beds, uh, three in a row, and enough room to get around each one and it will fill this whole corner up in the greenhouse. And the other side I'll be doing the same thing. What I have inside this is what I'm going to be doing here. This center container, there's six of these. The center one is going to be filled with peat moss and this will be the one that will wick the water up into the rest of the soil. These containers that are upside down, they're going to trap air space and then in between all these I will fill it with gravel and then cover that area with a root barrier and then over top of that will be uh, the growing medium and well let me go and start filling this up oh the other thing that I did is let me see if I can focus on there there is the drain that I drilled and this works right at the height right here that's about a three-quarter inch hole and that's at the height of the level where the root barrier cloth will be.
here's barrier cloth <clears throat> and I'm gonna cut this put it around the standpipe Okay, what I'm going to do next, I got a couple pieces of scrap pipe here. I'm going to put this in the uh, wicking hole, this uh, weeping hole that's in the side. Uh, some of the wicking beds in the past, uh, the soil compacted and would go across that hole. So I'm going to put this inside the hole <clears throat> so that uh, I won't have that compacting. And I'm also going to put this over it to give it some more air space. Then I'll tuck this around and start putting soil up against the perimeter. Then we fill her up. The soil that I'm using is a mix of compost, manure, uh, topsoil or potting soil, and vermiculite, and peat moss. And somebody asked me the other day that this isn't, what's this have to do with uh, an aquaponics greenhouse. Well, what I find myself doing every day, part of the morning routine, is drain the solids out of the swirl filter, and I probably get five to ten gallons of water every day. That water has to be dumped somewhere. So the perfect place to dump it is in these wicking beds. So that's what it's got to do with the aquaponic system. I think it's a very good addition to it. And here's some potting. Nice wigglers. And they'll eat there's another one. They're good to have in there. They'll eat up all that organic matter. Don't need to see the plants, the weeds. Another one. go and get some more soil. These barrels, when you cut them in half, it's exactly 17 inches. And it makes two halves. You just have to make sure that the top part of the barrel, that the uh, plugs are screwed in really tight. Um, I'm going to put more in the in this. I'm going to get pretty close to the top of the barrel. Now, a wicking system should be able to wick the water up to 18 inches in height in the soil. So that should be no problem at all with this uh, height of the barrel, the half a barrel.
Okay, what I put in here, um, that's just about perfect. I still have the plants to put in. And they're in a gallon uh, flower pot, the same that I put at the bottom of the tank. So there is, if I can remember, five and one. So there's six gallon containers at the bottom of this with the wicking or the root barrier cloth over top of that. Um, the soil mix was one 40 pound bag of uh, compost manure, one 40 pound bag of potting soil, um, a half of a five gallon bucket of peat moss, and a half of a five gallon bucket of vermiculite. Okay, here's the uh, the fig, one of them, and these were started by a friend of mine from cuttings. And we don't want the slugs in here. Slugs are my daily battle. And you can see here One. There's the other one. <clears throat> you can see they were pot on. It's time to move them. Okay, next thing is top it up with water and let it do its wicking. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.